Friday, Gerald Jabot, Bottle my Papa. Hump, my hump, my hump. You like that? Because yeah, I only have a hump. I don't have a booty. Well, you know. My lovely lady look. I mean, to the, to the, shout out to the little booty T-M-I. lady. <laughs> I ain't, I ain't tripping. It's hump day, so I had to play my yeah. hump. Yeah, my I mean, mind. shout out to the little booty ladies. I, I mean, I'm not sure. tripping on it. I'm not tripping on sure. it. Show us some love. Embrace it. At least yes. you got a booty, huh? At least we One got thing something. I can say about Bottle Papa, she she really it ain't ain't even tripping because she got a little booty. Nope. You know what I'm saying? It's the beauty, not the booty. It is. It's mm. always the beauty. Yeah. Hmm. Mm. I would say something else, but I'm not <laughs> <laughs> say it. Say it. Can you say it in a graceful way? Can you say it? <laughs> can you say it in a more graceful way? No. And be creative about it? No, I can't. Oh, okay. There's no other way to say She's it. Said, right. Stick them. Ha, ha, stick them. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. Hey, make sure you're following us on all our social uh, media, B-Day Radio FM on YouTube and Facebook, on Twitter, 991 B-Day FM on Instagram, B-Day 991, and, of course, on our website at 991bday.com. Uh-huh. Yep. And don't right. forget DJ Fingerprints coming up inside of that traffic jam mix. You don't want to miss it. And you. also, the one way show is tonight. Tonight, it goes yes. down for real basement. Yes. And these guys, man, King Young, 39, 55, DJ Murph 2 Cole, and of course, Paris. Paris. She's doing her thing, man. So uh, they all are going to bring you all the latest in the hip hop news. And they have a different perspective. That's right. Than the afternoon office party, yeah. you know. They just <laughs> they have the, the 10 year younger perspective than we do. So right. it's crazy like that, man. And it, it's really funny. I yeah. love that show. It's brilliant. Listen to it all the time. So speaking of youngins, yeah. three kids were kicked out of a Catholic school over uh, their mother's OnlyFans account. Huh. Yeah, mama, see, y'all got to watch what you're doing out there. A few days ago, we brought you a story about how one mom was being ashamed by fellow moms for her OnlyFans account. Now, the shaming has turned into action as her three sons have been kicked out of their Catholic school. The couple says that they started the OnlyFans account to rekindle their relationship. Yeah, right. After Crystal (laughs) went through early menopause, um, then realized uh, her pinup style model photos and sexy stories did more to rebuild her confidence. I can feel that. But the couple started pulling in 150k. What? Yes, from their daily post. So yeah, I can feel you it. Know what? You know what? You know what? I wouldn't even hands. care if the kids got kicked out of Catholic school. <laughs> right, I, I, I just find it nowhere. Yeah, Catholic somewhere else. Catholic school is always best. It's That's always what I best. Say. Yeah, there are other private schools. They right. don't have to be Catholic. Yeah. Right. You know yeah. So parents at Sacred Heart Parish School caught wind of the side hustle and sent the pictures to the school principal. So Karen was a hater. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I'm still the same crystal. I was like two years ago, a year ago when we had coffee before you knew this, the wife added, um, now you're just judging me. The family is now in search of new school and a church community. Oh, so it was the school and the church they went to. Yeah. But at the end of the day, I mean, it's been a whole pandemic Wait, what out is here. This? Salem are, 1800s? It's been a whole <laughs> pandemic out here. People are struggling. A lot of people have been laid yes. off and they pull it in 150. Hey, Man, come on. Man. Yeah, you know. Okay. You, they getting it. My God, yeah. homeschool before I send them back right. to this. All day, every day. So what? Yeah. Now. So sure. what? Got Education ain't got nothing to do with the grown-ups' <laughs> uh, way of getting uh, living. Do what you yeah, eat. making a living. Yeah, absolutely. I totally agree. You're getting the lights paid. Now right. check this out. Four board members of Texas Power Grid operator uh, resign after deadly winter storms. Uh, four board members of Texas. Uh, complete and utter failure of a power grid operator announced their decision to step down on yesterday and uh, these resignations follow outrage against the electric reliability council of texas for handling its last week's deadly winter storms that resulted in more than four million texans losing power now uh again now monday we were talking about this Mm -hmm. and i think that power companies it's just inevitable they make billions of dollars and they need to make some technology to keep this stuff yes. from freezing because cancel culture is real and nobody is safe they don't care right.